Hey guys, I'm Martin. I'm with the Horizon team. I'm the lead developer there, uh, working on some apps, but also on the SDK. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, explain to you how to set it up quickly into Unity and hopefully get you going, uh, creating some awesome 3D augmented reality apps. Okay, so let's dive into it. First thing you will want to do is fire up a web browser, go to our website, horizon.com. Go to developer and then you can find the download link there and then it refers you to our forum uh, where you can download the unity package uh, if you have any questions uh, don't be afraid to start a new thread here and i'll answer your questions uh, as soon as possible uh, okay i've already made a new unity project it's here it's just a clean project uh, i'm using unity 2018 but it should work on 2017 as well and let's import the package so I see I'm still on uh, standalone obviously we are developing for a phone so I'm gonna use switch the build settings to iOS Yes, there we are. Okay, so uh, let's close this. Now you see a uh, Horizon folder. Inside it is a prefab folder and you can drag the prefab into your scene. Uh, for those of you familiar with our previous SDK, you'll notice this is a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna explain to you uh, in depth at least uh, how to uh, connect tracking engines in the next videos. For now, I'm gonna do it shortly. So now you can already run and let's do that. So, okay, nothing's hap nothing is happening now and that's the way it should be because um, if you hit start, then you go into horizon mode. That's how we call it. And that's your starting point into the 3D augmented reality or the 3D part of it. Um, what it does is it uh, enables this UI overlay. Um, and also if you now say, okay, I wanna go into landscape, uh, we can simulate front rotation uh, from here by saying, okay, landscape and then you'll notice it goes into stereoscopic mode um, and also it still has this camera on um, but we have made it possible for you to uh, with rotation events for example to turn those cameras off on landscape or portrait rotations and you can stop it as well so these are just uh, easy for debugging and the start and stop methods you can uh, call through script uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's the basic part. Um, so yeah, these tracking engines, uh, what it does, uh, how the SDK works is it's, uh, it follows the transform of the tracking uh, object. And ARCore, ARKit, Vuforia all have their uh, way of tracking, but um, especially ARCore and ARKit, they uh, put it, uh, they change the transform of an object to represent the phone translation and rotation in uh, real world. Vuforia uh, only does the rotation on the phone and the uh, translation with the image targets, but it still works. And if you have something else, you can put it in here as well. Okay, so uh, we don't have any of these. So I'm gonna hit other. You see a new field here and I can input the main camera for now as the uh, transform. Uh, it's still running, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, and it also creates new uh, events that say, oh, okay, on um, when you set this one to follow other, um, it should disable the camera uh, on start or rise or not. So if we say start, this camera should now be disabled, which it is. 
And if we then hit landscape, um, you see the black backgrounds, which is good because we don't, uh, black doesn't project in the headset. So. Okay, and if we then go into portrait again and hit stop, the camera is turned back on as if nothing's happened. So, um, yeah, and it automatically does this for ARKit, ARCore as well. Uh, basically, it just checks, hey, is a camera on this object? And then uh, it puts it in here. Okay, and also because we said to follow uh, the transform of the main camera, if we now move this, I see it's at minus 10. But if we move this, it should apply this. If we start, it should apply this to the uh, horizon object, which it does. OK, um, I think that's it for now. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, in the next video, I'll uh, set up an AR kit project and after that we'll go into AR core and Fufaria as well. Uh, thanks, bye.